All right, hi everyone. We're gonna do a walkthrough of creating a class and an object of that class with an action associated with it. So let's do that in JShell right here. Okay, so this is the interactive version of Java. And so I'm gonna put this in JShell. And, uh, and so let's get started. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna say public class, my class. So I'm calling it my class. And we're gonna put a method or an action inside of it, public. Uh, let's just go like this int my method so it's going to return an integer and we're going to give it an integer as well input variable like that all right i'm going to open up the method right right there and we're going to go return uh input variable plus two like that and we're going to close up the method we're going to close up the class like that, we hit enter, and JShell tells us that it's created the class, my class. Fantastic. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to create an object of that type. Okay, so the my class class is basically a blueprint, and now let's create an object with that blueprint. So we're going to say um, a type of my class, and we're going to call it um, my object, like that, and we're going to say, and we're going to construct it, we're going to say it's going to be new, and it's of type my class. We put two uh, parentheses like that. We put a semicolon right there. And it tells us that it has created the object, my object, of type my class. And it's at location this. Don't worry about that. That's just a place of memory. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to verify that my object is actually of a, the class that we thought it was. So I'm going to put a point right here. And then I hit tab. And it tells me that there are certain actions that can be taken on this object. And uh, one of them is my method. Fantastic. That's what we're going to do next. But first, we're going to do get class. Let's determine what class it is, like that. And I hit enter. And it tells me that the object that's been sort of defined right here is of type my class. All right. Now let's let's do an operation on my um, let's on the object. Okay. So my object, like that. And we're going to do the method on it. So my method, so my action. Okay, and we're going to pass into it the value 2. And so we should get a return value that's 2 plus 2. So I go like this, enter, and it gives a return value of 4. Fantastic. Okay, now let's try this out inside of JShell. Now I was running JShell before inside of IntelliJ. I'm going to terminate it, and I'll, I'll show you how it's actually done. Um, like that close that I go up to tools J shell console like that and it'll create a J call J shell console within IntelliJ this is my sort of editor and down here are the results that occur so let's create a class as well we're gonna go public class and IntelliJ's intelligence kicks in and you can see all the syntax highlighting and stuff okay so my class so some of you may prefer it this way and we're gonna go open curly brace like that close curly brace and then we're going to create a method inside of my class so I'm going to go public int so we're going to return a value of uh, type integer and we're going to say my method like that and we're going to put into it we're going to pass into it uh, my input variable or my input let's say my input value like that okay and then we're going to open up the method like this and we're going to say that I want to return an integer, so return, okay, it's going to be a type integer because I've said so, I'm going to say my input value, and we're going to multiply it this time by 5, okay, we're just doing something arbitrary right here, and that is as simple as really it gets, um, and we're going to go like this, we're going to run, and we should see a result down here after we've run it, my computer's also, okay, so it said define my class, or yeah, so that's been defined. Fantastic. So let's go like this, and we're going to say uh, that we want a my class object, my object, and we're going to say that's equal to a new construction of my class, like that. Let's see what happens like this. No, oh, I forgot to do something right there, right? I have to put the parentheses in. It helps me along right there. And it's defined it. And you can see that it's also created within a certain memory location like that. 
All right, so let's check this out. We're going to go my object like that dot and look at the things that can be added to it. All sorts of things. We want to do the get class. Okay, let's find out what class my object is uh, belonging to. And we find out we scroll down here. My object is of type my class. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to put a little semicolon right there. Now let's perform the method on that object. So we're going to go my object dot my method, and we're going to pass in a value of uh, two. Okay, and that'll get multiplied by five. So let's do that. Run it, and we can see that it ran like that. Fantastic. We've shown how to set up a simple class and method associated with that class in both the regular JShell terminal as well as the built-in version of JShell within IntelliJ.